So President Joe Biden went and said that you guys should not be listening to conspiracy theories because they're conspiracy. Now the claims are getting even more bizarre. Marjorie Taylor Greene, the congresswoman from Georgia, is now saying the federal government is literally controlling the weather. We're controlling the weather. It's beyond ridiculous. It's so stupid. It's got to stop. President Biden speaking from the White House yesterday. Mike Barnacle joins the table. Mike, it is sometimes you have to, have to stop oh. and think about what we're talking. The president of the United States from the White House has to go on TV and address the American people to say the government does not control the weather. We had a Republican. Before we continue. So the thing about it is Joe Biden's over here making it seem like people are saying like, oh, ooh, they got some magical things going on. They got the witches. I knew it. I knew it. No one's saying that, y'all. People are saying you guys are doing cloud seeding. Same thing that they do in Dubai. So they're doing it over here. And it just so happens to hit an area that has some of the largest, the largest lithium deposits in America. And then Black Rock is immediately just like what was going on in Hawaii with the fires in Maui. They're like, oh, ooh, can I buy this land? What? Coincidence? Now you may say, well, Alex, the fires are natural. Yeah, turning off their water supply is unnatural, though. That wasn't just something that just happened. They deliberately turned that off. Why would you turn off water when you know it could extinguish a fire? So when people start putting data points from here, 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 and they start putting it together to have a story, now it's a conspiracy. Okay, so that's what they were referring to is the fact that cloud sitting was being taken place where there are patents for this stuff as well. Congressman from Western Carolina, a Trump supporter who had to put out a memo to his residents saying no and, and citing experts, no, the government does not have the technology to engineer a hurricane that would hit only red states or any state whatsoever. The $750 thing that Donald Trump has been talking about ad nauseum, they're only giving $750 to people who need it while we're giving all this money to immigrants and to Ukraine and everything else. $750 is a new thing that the Biden administration put in a few months ago. Yeah. That's the first step. Here's $750 to get you the diapers and the baby formula and clothes to get you back on your feet. There's more coming. We're going to go through more of this this morning, but it is... Um, you expect it from a backbencher, a conspiracy theorist from Georgia. Do you really, though? <laughs> from, from her? Yes, I do, actually. Yeah. From her, you expect those conspiracies. But from a leading presidential candidate, it's beyond dangerous. But this is a, <clears throat> the leading presidential candidate, and during his term in office, tried to alter the map of yep. where, the, where the hurricane came from because it disagreed, because the path, the actual path of yeah. the hurricane disagreed. Changed Was it, it with dis a Sharpie. Yeah. Yeah. And Marjorie Taylor Greene, I mean, what can you say about that? What, what can you say? I mean, you have people in this country who actually listen to her and find some credibility, perhaps, in something she says. There are people like that. It's beyond belief. It's beyond description. It's beyond even us talking about it. It's like crazy land. And it's another way of chipping away at American institutions. And I know some Biden officials I spoke to yesterday just deeply afraid that the Trump supporters who listen to Trump and his claims aren't going to then heed the calls from right. state and local. You notice he stopped himself from saying crazy claims. Let me see if I can rewind it. Trump supporters who listen to Trump and his claims you aren't going to then heed the calls from right. state and local federal officials because they're not going to believe them. They think it's going to be political and they might stay and put themselves in harm's way or refuse to get that federal aid from FEMA and the like. We saw that in Western North Carolina after Helene. Fears it could happen here again in Florida. You know, what you just pointed out, Jonathan, gets to the actual contrasting the actual damage done by these hurricanes on the ground and the danger it presents to people on the ground and the damage, the damage that the Trump administration the former president himself and people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, the damage they have done to the institutional faith that some people have in the government, that you're going to get your retirement check, that you're going to get your Social Security, that the government will perform for you, that the government will help you in times of need or trouble, as we are witnessing here in Florida. That damage is lasting. Even though they're also trying to up the retirement age so that now you have to be older in order to get it for social security as well. 
It is. And I guess the good news is that, as we've been saying the last few days, the Republican leaders in these states where these storms are actually hitting have spoken out and say, no, the conspiracy theories are not true. You can trust FEMA. They are here to help. But as you say, so many people just take Donald Trump's word and run with it. What I will say is I was seeing this before Trump was even saying it. I didn't even see Trump say anything, to be honest. Um, I was seeing other people who follow, you know, they're storm chasers. I was seeing all these other people who were saying other things. So I don't know necessarily where they got that aspect from, but let's go to the next video. Just call everybody a liar. Call everybody a misinformer. That's the game. That's the whole game. Half the country now are just liars. Everything you don't like is misinformation. Everybody's irresponsible. Again, the biggest liars are always the government. The biggest liars and spreaders of misinformation and disinformation and flat out lies are always the government. Second is the corporate media because they work hand in hand. And a distant third are randos on social media. The biggest lie, the people who need to be censored from lying and misinformation, everyone knows it's the government. Look at all the lies corporate media told you just just around Russiagate, just around Ukraine, just around COVID. Uh, before he even continues, censoring, not even just, I mean, the line, huge, okay? Going and saying that if you get the jib jab, you can't get it. That wasn't true because many people said, oh yeah, I got it and I still got it. Saying that, oh, well, you don't need masks because it's not necessary. And then Fauci. And then later on redacting that and say, well, you know, I mean, you do need the mask because, you know, it, you know, it'll help to uh, reduce the spread. But I mean, I told you you didn't need it because nurses. This is already over a year, two years after it even happened. And you say, oh, yeah, you know, the nurses. I mean, they needed them. So I just didn't want y'all buy them. <laughs> and then you say, oh, you can buy, you can make cloth masks or get those, um, those other masks, you know, those little cheaper ones that I, those are the ones I was getting. And then they're like, ah, well, I mean, those K95, the only ones that really work. Aren't y'all, don't y'all got credentials? The who? I mean, Fauci, what's your job? If you're lying, everything was, it was just constant, a change, a change, a change. And then when people were saying like, oh, well, I got the jib jab and something happened to me. Oh, nope, you're lying. They were saying all this stuff about Jimmy Dore. And they were like, oh, no, no, he's an unvaxxed. He's like, I got the jab. How am I unvaxxed if I got it? Oh, well, I mean, uh, you you just, you, you must not really have gotten it. You know what I mean? So people are always going to come up with some kind of narrative that's going to fit their story in particular. Oh, my God, my chest is red um but people are always going to come up with some kind of narrative that's going to fit their story but let's let's let this continue you know i make fun on stage in front of in, in los angeles i was in hermosa hermosa, hermosa hermosa beach comedy magic club great club last night no saturday night Hundreds of people, they don't know me. They don't know I'm coming. These are random people. I make fun of magic, really. I make fun of <laughs> I make fun of how how much we're being lied to about the Ukraine war, and they all um, spontaneously laugh and applaud. I make fun of how much we're being lied to about Ukraine. And they all spontaneously know we are. They spontaneously laugh, involuntarily laugh, and spontaneously applaud. The biggest liars always. So this idea that government is going to somehow get rid of misinformation on social media just means that you're living in a fascist country. That they want to control your speech. And they don't respect the First Amendment and they're because they're losing control. And that's the thing. They want to have as much control as they can. They're losing it and they're realizing, oh my goodness, people are waking up. We can't have that. Let's have them uh, complain about something. Let's divide them even further. We need to do something. We need to, uh, uh, let me get into presidency so then I could go and shut down. The only real thing that I've been seeing that is like really for the most part uncensored, unless you put, well, I wouldn't even say about the corns, but it's Twitter. That's the one, Twitter and TikTok kind of but i would say twitter mostly 
um, because even some stuff was getting banned on t TikTok that I was hearing. Um, so it's really only on X that I've seen Twitter X, you know, so how do you explain that? And then, you know, of course, with the power that be get into office and they say, OK, well, we're just going to have to stop all disinformation and misinformation. They could go and mess around and be like, OK, well, Jimmy show, let's take that off. OK, um, so I find that interesting that this whole thing of conspiracy theories um, has been brought out saying, like, oh, you guys shouldn't believe them because I mean, America, we have your best interests. At I know you lying. Hello, hello, hello. I would greatly appreciate it if you can actually support my little small business called Latrice Limited. It is on latricelimited.com. So as you can see right here, I actually sell candles and a wide variety of other items as well. This is my big forehead, okay? Um, but I actually wanna show you just a couple of different items that I do sell. Um, this is actually going to be a part of my soap collection that I have. As you can see, I have a variety of different soaps on here. I actually have two pages worth of soaps and um, everything is handmade okay natural clean ingredients as well um, you can also see right here these are my candles all right they're all handmade everything vanilla sweet roses uh, sage and vanilla vanilla and sweet roses are actually my favorite scents that i do have i also have a few other items on here I'm actually going to go and show you all the bath bombs that I do have. As you all can see, there's eucalyptus and sage, uh, sweet pea harmony, and so many more. And then we're just gonna finish off on the gift sets that I have. There's a variety of them from like the big ones like this for 45. And then you have some of the smaller ones and you have these itty bitty ones down here that includes essential oil blends, definitely shop with your girl definitely help your girl out i would greatly appreciate it this is like my little baby over here okay <laughs> um i would greatly appreciate it and enjoy